Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing this eye, cheek, and lip look using the Beauty and the Beast collection from Lorac. Absolutely love this. Um, it blends well, the colors are beautiful. It just is a nice collaboration. Really enjoyed the highlighter that they have. That was probably my biggest love from this collection if you like pinks this blush is you need it you definitely need it i will say i put on the blush first so i saw there was a lot of fallout or kick out on the blush so that concerned me for the eyeshadows and i was right because this little beauty um it it's absolutely gorgeous this is the first time I've used it, but you can already see kind of that I've dug into the pans. Normally that happens with a palette that has a lot of fallout. It just kind of, it looks like you've used it longer than what you have. But I do love this palette. I love the pinks. I love the neutrals. I haven't done a pink eye in a long time or what feels like a long time. Mostly because I don't think pinks look good on me. So I love them, my eyes gravitate towards them, but I just don't feel like they're for me. However, today I did do a pink eye and really liked it. So I'm looking forward to using some of the other colors in, in this palette to see what else I create. So as far as the lip glosses go, I started out using Savoir Faire in the video and then I decided I wanted something a little bit more muted or pink so i changed over to true beauty so actually what you'll see in the video is savoir fair but in my intro and exit it's going to be true beauty so if you want to see how i created this eye look cheek and lip look using this collection for from Lorac, please stay okay, tuned so I'm prepped and primed and we are going to get started using the estee lauder double wear stay in place makeup and this is one and two ecru so i'm going to put a little bit of this on my brush pretty i like it better when the foundations have a pump Although the packaging is nice. It's a nice, pretty frosted glass. I still wish I had a pump. So I need a little bit more. As far as the priming, I just use the Scandinavia makeup spray as my primer. The initial impressions. Well, I'm really nice with this brush. So I like that. I like that it didn't leave brush streaks. So that is sitting or absorbing into the skin nicely. It looks like it is definitely full coverage, which is always great for me. For some reason, it's picking up really white on this camera. I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. It's not as white in person as it is, looks like it is on camera. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup. We'll see how this holds up during the rest of the work week. Wish me luck, or wish Estee Lauder luck. Okay, so I have put on my foundation, which is the Estee Lauder Double Wear and Ecru. I've got some Smashbox as far as the not bronzer the contour and i'm gonna use max whirl on my lips i think i'm gonna go with this color in savoir faire from the collection Okay, so I'm going to start out with this color here called Fearless for the Cheeks. It might be a little too light, but it's got, I didn't need much on my brush before I got some fallout. Ooh la la, that's some pink. And then it looks like it's got a highlighter 
involved. So I'm going to try to see how, I'm sorry, that color was called Enchanted. The highlighter, I think this is a highlighter, we're going to see, is called Fearless. Oh, that's pretty. It's kind of a champagne gold. Looks pretty with the pinks. And I'm not a pink person, but I'm, I think I'm going pink today. All right, so I love this little book. It looks just like a book and you open it and there is all kinds of prettiness. So we're gonna actually do a pink eye, which again, for me is kind of odd. I don't do them very often because I just don't feel like they look right on me. So we're gonna start with the color Chip In. And these do have some fallout, so you're going to have to definitely clean off that brush or tap that brush. <coughs> it's got fallout. It's got fallout. I just sucked it in. Whew. All right, the next color I'm going to use is called Inner Beauty. It's this pink here. So we're going to try to deepen up. The crease going into the transition area with this. I was actually shocked that they didn't have a yellow in here for Belle's dress, which I would have liked to have seen. This actually reminds me more of a palette that Barbie should put out. Okay, we're going to take Real You. I'm using the same brush as I build up color. Get that in the crease. I think I'm going to go in with this color called Impress next. Maybe put that on about the out the half of the eye. I will say these colors blend nice. All right, I'm going to try some of this sw uh, swept up. a long way. I barely put any black on the brush mm -hmm. just in case and I'm glad I didn't because it came off pretty good. I'm going to pick up some more of this inner beauty that we started with and use that to kind of diffuse this black a little bit and use it to kind of blend it out some. Okay, I'm going to use some Vivid Brights. This one is in a pink and it's called Vivid Petal from NYX. Which is a crazy bright color. Okay, that kind of looks scary, right? So I'm going to actually put a thinner black coat um, closer to the eyeliner so I actually kind of have two eyeliners that's my goal with the pinks or with the vivid bright so we're gonna see if I can accomplish a dual eyeliner I don't have a lot of hope in myself but you know stranger things have happened stranger things have worked out wish me luck I'm going in So this I edged in to the pink a little bit too much with this e.l.f. eyeliner so I'm going to try to pick up a little bit more with this pink so that it kind of matches the other side. Which to be honest that wasn't as quite as hard as I thought it was going to be. I'm like, ah, uh, but you never know, you never know. Okay, so I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to um, put on some false eyelashes, probably off, not probably, I'm going to do that off camera. I feel like I've already kind of gone above and beyond with my luck as far as the pink eyeshadow goes. I don't know that I could, or the pink eyeliner. I don't want to tempt fate. Um, so I'm going to be right back. Thank you so much for watching my channel today in this Lorac Beauty and the Beast look. You got my first impression as I introed the video and um, you got to see how I created this look using loads of pink. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have tried this Beauty and the Beast collection, tell me what you think, what's your favorite colors, how did you like it? etc. So I'm really interested in seeing what you say. 
If you did enjoy this video, like I said, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a beautiful day. Until next time.